the Savings Mobilization Program is actually a project that we develop to help the to help the community develop in them the the ownership of the project of the livelihood project that we want to share with them. We believe that it is not proper that we just dole out or give them some financial help because in that sense uh, they do not become responsible of the outcome of their projects. So before we give them any entrepreneurial project, part of the condition would be for them to attend for six months our value formation seminars and at the same time while attending the seminar they will be savings for six months weekly a certain amount wherein they're going to use the savings for their capital build-up. The main focus of the savings mobilization program is for community entrepreneurship. Unlike other entrepreneurship programs which focus on individual programs or individual entrepreneurship, in BCSR, entrepreneurship is community-based. So there is no competition among the members of the community or of the cell. Each cell has its own only one project and every members of that cell should help and ensure the success of that project. So the savings mobilization will help them develop in them a sense of ownership also of the projects that they will be involved and at the same time they that will help us ensure that they will be actively involved in all the activities that will make the project successful. So the savings mobilization program is actually a weekly savings uh, habit development program also and then after the after collecting the weekly savings the volunteers will de deposit the volunteers will deposit the amount to a Vincentian cooperative which will adopt the community later on just to entrust the money that is collected none of the facilitators should keep the savings for more than a day that is the agreement they will, the facilitators will just be collecting the money to bring them to Adamson University so that it can be deposited to the Vincentian Cooperative. The methodology was uh, agreed upon by the members of the community so that they don't have to pay for the transportation of bringing their savings to the cooperative. At times, the cooperative will visit them and inform them of the updates of their, of their savings. The, Members of the BCSR can also withdraw the amount they deposited if they really need it. At times, uh, there is very few, uh, very few time wherein one has to withdraw because they have to transfer their house. So it is a permanent change of address only why they need to withdraw. Other than that, most of the members doesn't want to withdraw because they are fully aware that the savings is for a livelihood program which they will benefit and enjoy later on. So we promise to them that after savings for six months or a year, Adamson University will give its counterpart. For every one peso that they will save, Adamson University community will also save one peso for them. The counterpart of Adamson University will not be coming from the funds of the university. This is again another part of volunteerism on the members of the academic community of Adamson University. So we have what we call Piso Mola Sapuso, wherein the students, the employees, the faculty members, and even the alumni can donate one peso to what we call a PET or a PET bottle. And then this, PET, uh, this one peso co are collected to match the savings of the community. So everything is done by volunteerism. So as the community are doing their savings, the university is trying to inculcate voluntary donation of one peso among the members of the community so that we will be ready to match their savings whenever there is a need to start up our entrepreneurial activity. It sounds to some, it, the system proves to be successful because even after the end of the savings program, the members of the community now are not actively involved in Piso de Molasa Curso. They are now, since the entrepreneurial activity has started, those who are contributing one peso are now active in promoting the sales of the community project. So the interaction and the support of the, of the people in Adamson University continues even after the savings program has been stabilized. So since they know that, that what they donated will be helped 
will be helping the community in their livelihood project. They are now patronizing the products of the community. They are now actively buying the SB SADs. And at times, they're also selling the SB SADs to be able to scale up the market and increase the sales of the community. If our records will show at times, there are years, where, there are months we're in, the sales of Adamson University is even higher than the sales in the community because our, our students, our faculty members are aware that they should patronize the product because they are helping the community. And also the product is not, uh, it's not really that bad at all. So it is comparative to what is commercially available anyway. So why not buy the products of the community? So the community savings actually develop in them the habit of savings and at the same time develop in them that confidence, that business confidence in them, that together we can do it. Together we can do it. Unlike in the projects, livelihood projects uh, that are given by the government, wherein a project is given to an individual person, and you will notice in one community, the same businesses are competing against one another. In BCSR, it is a community-based business. So everybody in that particular community support, patronize, market, and engage in the community, in the community business project to ensure that it will make profit and dividends will be distributed equitably according to their savings deposit. So we come off what we call as a monthly maintaining balance scheme. So when you have a monthly maintaining balance scheme, if you end, start up early with a good amount of savings and end up with a good amount of savings, your dividend is higher compared to those who just up, who just try to catch up and just deposit a large amount at the latter end of the program. No, so we, we divide it in, we have a formula wherein it will be using the monthly maintaining balance of their savings. So if you do not withdraw and you maintain your savings, you normally will have a good maintaining balance and you will have a good share of dividend. One member of the community received around 5,000 of dividend just, just for a 25 peso savings a week. That is just $1 a week, and she received a dividend share of $100. And that is very good amount for them because anyway, they're just savings, and at the same time, their interest in their saving is very big because in the banks here in the Philippines, your interest in savings is at least, at most, at most is 2%. 2% per annum. So if you, and, and the savings of 25 pesos will never be accepted in a bank. So here in, micro, in mutual savings, in micro savings, we develop that kind of savings habit and that develop the confidence in them that they can do business and they can save and promote their livelihood programs.